Hello, my name is Ioannis Dijovlu and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable the developer tab in Microsoft Excel 2016 and by using a Macintosh operating system. I will also show you how to create a simple macro and how to apply a macro into a shape. Before I get started, let me explain to you what I have done here. I just put some labels, I just put apply some numbers here. I'm just showing some symbols here and here I have created some simple calculations. Now, what I want to do, I want to create a macro which basically clears out these numbers. So the end user will be able to put new numbers. It's going to clear the numbers by clicking this button here. So to get started, we need to have the developers tab visible. In order to do this, you need to go to the top, select Excel, Preferences, and then select on the View tab. Scroll down and tick the box that says Developer tab. Once you've done that, exit the window and you will be able to see the Developers tab. Click on Record Macro, name your macro appropriately, make sure you don't put any spaces, and click OK. My macro is recording now. I'm just going to highlight the information that I want to clear. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to click Stop Recording. I'm going to right click on my shape and assign the macro. Before I assign the macro, let me show you how I created the shape. I, I did it by go to Insert, Shapes. And I could put any shape I wish. I could put a heart. And if I'm happy with the preview style that I applied, I can go to the Home tab. I can click on the Format and click once. So I have the right. Oops. Let's go. Sorry. Let's click here. I'm just going to select the formatting, and then I'm going to click on the heart. I'm just going to right-click here, Edit Text. And I'm just going to type Clear going to make my heart a bit bigger. So this is how I create the preview shape. Anyway, if I would like to apply this macro, I'm going to right click the shape and I'm going to select assign macro. Select my macro and click OK. Now, if the end user puts some numbers here, you do some simple calculations. And he or she would like to clear all this information so they can start all over again. They can just click clear and they can put new numbers. Okay, so let's summarize what we've learned. We enable the developers tab in Microsoft Excel 2016 and by using the Macintosh operating system. We then created some simple calculations. We then created a symbol. We then went to the Developers tab and we recorded a macro. By recording the macro, we basically deleted these sections here. And once we did that, we stopped recording macro. By doing this, we uh, managed to apply, assign the macro onto a shape and therefore, from now on, every time somebody selects this button, this information will be cleared. If you like my video, please subscribe and don't forget to like my video. Thank you for watching.